Taurus Land beta has now come to an end. And this beta was really good. A lot of positive changes, a lot of good features that they have added, but there's still some changes that I would like to see in the game before launch. And I would also love to hear you guys' opinions. What kind of changes do you would like to see? Do you agree with my changes? Let me know in the comments below and let's check out the video. So it's the final day of the beta. That's why the game is pretty empty right now. The events, everything is over, you know. Uh, everybody's chilling. Always happens on the last day of beta. But we are here to talk about the changes I would like to see. The first changes, I want to get this out of the way immediately. As you guys know, these raids, they have an opening time. So they don't open at reset. They actually have their own opening time so people can play it and are ready for it. So they have to wake up at 4 a.m. Because reset is at 4 a.m. So I'm glad they actually don't open that at 4 a.m. But they open in the afternoon between 11 and 12. In my opinion, the raid's official opening time should be in the evening. The reason why it should be in the evening is because m most people, when certain raids come out, will be at work. If all the raids don't come out during weekends... Uh, unless they make it so they come out during weekends, which they can because these raids open a day in between each other or two days in between each other. So that won't work. So they have to make sure that these raids open when everybody can play. So everybody has a chance to go for like first skill titles, challenge more titles, all that stuff. And the guild can play it together. So I think they should open it in the evening uh, at least 6 p.m. Uh, whatever server time that is for everybody, it should open at 6 p.m. Uh, that's for the raids. And then for the reset time, I think the reset time should be at 4 a.m. when people are sleeping. I understand the the process behind it because then people wake up, they can do dailies again. But in this game, you have something you, uh, right here. It's a new mechanic to the game that they added that the bosses get weaker after you hit the reset. So let's say the raid opens at afternoon right now at 12. And then if somebody beats it, and the clock takes to 4 a.m., this box will get weaker at 4 a.m. That means if you want to compete, like that was a big issue for, for example, this uh, boss. They were having a competition. Nobody could beat it, but he got nerfed. So people had to wake up at 4 a.m. to challenge the boss again, right? So what I think is the reset time instead should be at the 1 p.m. And then the uh, bosses should open at 6 p.m. It's way better much easier for everybody you can even do dailies if you miss your dailies you can do them in the morning uh before work or uh, you're on your phone before reset which will be at 1 p.m and then you can uh, do the raids when you get home from work i think it will be uh, much better uh reset time wise and i think this thing that resets uh or makes the boss weaker 50 percent weaker uh after one day if somebody beats it i think this should be two days not one day because not it's not even a day right now it's shorter than a day because it opens an afternoon at 4 a.m like 15 hours later it gets weaker i think there should be one and a half day it should be a whole day and then a half day until they get weaker so people have a chance to challenge them people that want to defeat it at the at the hardest can actually do that and the people that makes the people that can't beat it but needs to loot will still get the loot within two days because we this is a weekly reset boss so you can get the loot uh as long as you beat it within the week so it doesn't matter for the people that can't beat it they will have the chance to beat it they will have the more chance to gear up and level up and then beat it right so i think th this time should be one and a half days or at least two days and the, the reset time should be changed now since we're talking about times we gotta talk about arena arena time right here it's two hours a day for the arena. Two hours a day. I think it should not be two hours a day at all. Uh, either you make it a bigger, so you go from 8 to midnight, or you change it, which will, I think would be better. Uh, if you want to have it at certain times, it should be at two times a day. So it should be at 8 to 10, and then there should be another time for people that play probably earlier in the evening from three to five. So you can have two different times when the arena is open, or you can extend the arena time from eight to uh, midnight, or even longer, even like six to midnight. Uh, I know why they're doing this. They're doing this because they want to make sure that people are actually matchmaking, and people get games and stuff. Uh, because if they make it bigger, people will queue at different times. It will be hard to matchmake. That's what I'm saying. You can make it either two times, or you can make it from eight to midnight. Uh, and, since, and make it cross-server, of course, so you can uh, meet other players from other servers. But 
this time is not good enough, I think they definitely need to extend this or make it twice a day. So as you're talking about PvP, please for the like remove I know a lot everybody has ultimates. Remove the revive ultimate from each class. A revive does not make sense in arena. Now I'm gonna tell you why. Because of revive, every team has to have a healer in it, and it's harder to run. Uh, it's harder to run triple DPS because when you're running with a revive, you need to kill the healer always first, which doesn't make sense. Because so, if you're running triple DPS setup and you run triple DPS setup, you need to always focus the healer. It's easy, predictable. It makes the PP less strategy to it. Make it so that you don't have revive in the game. And if you have revive. If you gotta have revive at least make it only once we fought players and they revived three times in a fight we kill a player he revived we kill him again he revived he killed him again he revived, and we end up losing so revive doesn't make sense to have in the 3v3 pvp arena you can have it in the battlegrounds whatever but in 3v3 arena remove revive if you're not going to remove a revive at least make it so you can only use one revive but add mana to pvp because right now the healers can just heal 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 as much as they want without care for the mana and the games last out for five minutes or whatever the time is either remove revive or add mana in 3v3 pvp arena so it makes it more interesting makes it more fun makes it more exciting uh so the healers don't completely dominate the arenas right because we want to see more we want to see tanks right now there's no tanks in arena because healers are so strong because they can revive if you remove revive there'll be more tanks there'll be more triple dps comps there'll be way more different strategies that people can use when they fight pvp and healers will still be good because everybody still at the end of the day need some kind of kind of comps and needs healers so remove revive i'm telling you it'll be best change you guys make give them some other ultimate inside pvp instead for the people uh, for the healers next up i want to talk about is empowerments and gems right now in this game you get gems you get these gems and then you get these empowerments these are good things. I love the empowerments. I love the gems. The one thing I don't like about this is if I get a new P, like this is a big investment. Like getting this and this costs 10,000s of gold. It's an insane investment that you make. Okay. This, this is overpriced, of course. But an example is if this costs 200, you need 30 of this, which is 6K gold, plus this, which is another like a K gold it's like 10k gold investment costs more than everything you own for each piece but if you replace this armor if you get another armor this is completely wasted it's gone you can't transfer it you can't do anything with it you can't salvage it so at least guys at least make it so that if you have an empowerment and you need a new gear make it so that you can dismantle or remove and get some pieces back. You don't need to get 30 back. You don't need to get the defense room back. Just give us like 5 crystals back. Or like 10 crystals back. When we remove it or change gear. Because wasting all this stuff. It, it It's not good. So make it so we get something back. At least if you're removing or changing. Or dismantling this gear with the empowerment. We should get something back. In my opinion. And the same goes for gems. When you put level 2 gems in this. The level 1 gems have these. And they just take backspace. And you sell, let's say, I sell this gem, I get like 10 silver. And I bought this, look how much I bought this for. How much you get these gems for? 100 gold per level 1 gem. So at least give us something back. Or, you know, when you maybe get a fragment, maybe if you dismantle one gem, level 1 gem, you get one fragment. And if you have 10 fragments, you can make another gem. Something like that, or make a level 2 gem, right? Make it so that these items don't get completely wasted. Because they, I mean, these are important items that you will always need with Java level up. I know why they're doing it, so they keep the trading house more active. But completely losing out, getting 10 silvers for something you spend a lot of money on, kind of sucks. At least give us like a fragment. If you have 10 fragments, if you have 10 level 1 fragments, you can make a level 2 gem. Something like that. So if, if me, for example, if I have a full gear right now, let me show you. If I have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, uh... 9 10 if i have 10 level 1 gems and i dismantle all i get 10 fragments and i can make one uh level 2 gem i think that should, that's completely fair that's completely fair i think that's how uh, they should do it they should give you something back next up i want to talk about is adjust the dailies and the dailies i'm talking about is if you go to season right here 
these are okay because this you can refresh and you can change them the ones i have problem with are these because you have this one for example arena survivor like these 200 points participate in fair play arena 20 times now the big issue with this is arena is only open two hours right now if you don't make my change it's only open two hours a day so people that can't play arena or don't have time to play arena will miss out on 200 points which is crazy so this should not be a thing they should change this to something else you can refresh it to something else because participating in arena is a limited time it should not be a thing this is okay because you can kill world boss whenever once a day this is okay participate on battlegrounds too they might have to change this because it's time limited but at least the arena should not be a thing so look at your dailies make some changes to the dailies for sure to make it a little bit easier for people uh throughout the day to actually do the dailies if you miss the two hour window you're done right so it's definitely not worth it next up is the buffs the buff bar let me show you guys right here i have my character everybody has a bunch of buffs a bunch of uh buffs that you can put on your character let's put this big oh, sorry only this now, for some reason everything is getting big now but it's okay so this bar right here you can see i have some buffs right here but i can't see them they're not separate so when i use my skills like this and i use this and i use my skills i can't see what i have active it's too small make it so that i can put i can customize just the buff bar so all these buffs underneath this make it so i can get this separate somewhere so i can look at my own skills because when i use for example ardent uh, guardian it lasts for 12 seconds when i have many buffs and i have a full team i can't see all my buffs i can't see what's going on with my buffs uh and it's very important when you're using rotations or you're changing when you're using this uh as a tank if you're using damage reduction as a healer you're putting buffs if you want to be able to see it more clearly so the buffs should have their own tab and you can customize it uh on your own way with your own tab so make the buffs more visible, more easier to see, because there's a lot of buffs, and we want to be able to have the option to see and then put uh, new skills and buffs and use make our rotations better. So let us see the buff bar, make it bigger, so we can see more of the buff bar. I think would be really good. Next up is dies. So when you go to your appearance, you need to. Add, this is very good for you too, because Target Slam will make a lot of money on this. You have these costumes make it so you can dye them make it so you can color them so you can buy dye from the shop you can sell it in the shop and then i can color this i can make the red if i have a blue dye i can make the i can put blue on the crystals and uh, maybe blue on the boots so you can make like sections right so certain things you can color certain things you can color uh so but you have to use the dye black dyes white dyes blue dyes when there's events when it's a valentine event you can sell pink and red dyes when there's christmas event you can sell blue dyes just make it so that we can be dye our gear so the gear will look so cool and it, it should be so easy for you guys to do so you can just color the gear like we want to so everybody can look different that's very important in mmos we need to look different we need to look uh cool Make it so we can dye the gear. And please, when the legendary gear comes out, make it so that the legendary gear will show on the character. And that's why I want to talk about. Because every season, we'll get new gear. Make it so the legendary gear has some kind of effect. So let us let me show you guys again. You go to your appearance right here. You go to accessory. Let's say you go to pendants. Make it, for example, if you have legendary gear... You will have like a glow around you, right? Something cool, maybe something flashy, maybe some cool wings that pop up, something. Uh, so people know that you have a legendary gear. If you'd be like, yo, that guy has legendary gear, that's cool. And they can take this effect with you uh, to the next season. And also, please add some wings. We want some wings. These are cool, but we want some cool costumes. We want some wings, you know, we want some cool items. We want footprints, so, you know, on the foot. Right here, if you look on the foot, at the at bottom of the foot here, if you walk, there should be like a little glow. So there's a lot of like costume options you guys can do. Add it, let us customize it. It'll be really good for the game. So please, let us customize uh, all those options. I think it'll be great. Next up is adjust a little bit of the raids. I love the difficulty and I want it to stay difficult. Uh, but this boss, for example, this boss in elite mode was too easy, right? compared to the others so you gotta adjust it a little bit the challenge mode was 
too crazy. Nobody could beat the challenge mode until the nerf, for example. So adjust it a little bit, make the lead a little bit harder, maybe the challenge mode a little weaker. I do do a little bit of adjustment to the raids because they definitely need it, okay? Make it hard. We want remember, you have this option. The bosses will get weaker after two days. So make it hard on elite mode, but not too hard, doable. But at the same time, remember that the bosses will get nerfed eventually after two days anyway. So why not? So might as well make it difficult, right? The elite modes at least. Normal can be easy. Elite should be a little more difficult. And next up, add loot to the dungeons and monsters. So if I go, for example, let's say I go to Ancash, right? Make it so, for example, if you kill certain mobs, let's say goblins, okay? Let's say I kill a bunch of goblins. Make it so that the mobs have a chance to give you a small percentage, like 1% chance or even lower, to give you some kind of loot. Because when you're doing, when I am, when I have done all my dailies, I can finish all my dailies in four days. Uh, four days, sorry. In an hour. I don't know where four days came from. I can do my dailies in an hour, two hours max. Let me play the game. I want to play more. So let me go out here uh, and play. Sorry, I'm in China service. It's lagging. So let's say I, 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 I can farm these. Let's say I farm these mobs, Little Merfolk, for 10 hours. Because the Merfolk will have a chance, small percent, 1% chance or even a smaller chance to drop maybe a costume. So maybe there's a special costume that you can get from these mobs. Uh, and if you have a small chance, let's say I get it right now. I have a chance to get a cool costumes. So each mob or some mobs like wolves, maybe harpies or some mobs around the world will drop different costumes, different items. So people can sit there and farm and farm and farm, get a cool cosmetic for their character, right? They don't have to be anything cool. It can just be a collectible. So if you, it can be, for example, for example, if a farm, you can get this or you can get this in a blue color or you can get this in a red color, something like this, right? Some cool small things to add to the mobs with a small chance to get so people can farm stuff, can farm mobs, farm collectibles, it's a great thing. Same with the dungeons. Let's say in this dungeon, normal difficulty or epic diff elite difficulty, people can farm this because this is good. If you add another reward in here, like a mount or a costume or something, people can farm this over and over and have a chance at second boss, for example, to get a loot. Uh, get a cool award that way people will farm it with uh, randoms people get get clears help newbies out it's just a positive good thing overall people play the game for a long period of time people want maybe a lava horse that drops somewhere it'll be really cool i know eventually like later on in raids you'll get this but for example in raids when you get to the last difficulty raids you have a chance to get like helmet and stuff right yeah, so you can get helmets up, but add this more. We need more of this on mobs, on gear, on dungeons. That'd be a good thing. People can play and have fun because people love, in MMOs, people love collectibles. People love getting things uh, that are rare. So let people get loot, you know? Next up is add more leaderboards. Right now, there's a leaderboard in Arena. Great stuff, competition. Add this in Arcane Realm, like they did before. In the first season of Taurus Land, when you did Ark and Realm, there was a leaderboard. I know there's a leaderboard on the website, but it's very janky. We want in-game leaderboard for speed. So you don't, you, it doesn't need to give any rewards. You don't need to give any money to the top players. You just make a leaderboard, fastest run. Because then, when I finish all my dailies, I have nothing to do. I can go and try to beat my time in Ark and Realm. I can try to do a faster run. It's just a good thing to add more competition to the game, add more fun to the game. Nothing serious. You don't get any extra rewards. Same with challenge mode. Right? When you do the challenge mode, you don't get any extra reward. You just get a title. Uh, just add more stuff like this. I mean, it doesn't hurt you, right? It doesn't hurt anything. You, people don't get more rewards. It's just for people to have more fun with, engage with. We think it would be great. Last thing about the game. Please prioritize Barbarian Female and Bard Female should have priority right now because right now we have we need more we need all the healers mo mostly all the healers to have both genders because healers are universally played by everybody male female but they're usually uh, female dominant but we need more female uh, or gender uh, swap on the healers in my opinion and then we need of course on the barbarian tank too because i want to play barbarian female tank however 
I think healers should be prioritized. Right now, you guys are prioritizing a tank and you're prioritizing a mage, but the healers need more uh, gender locks first. So focus on the bard. Try to get it out before global launch. That'd be great. Now for the future content, this is just for this beta. I want to talk a little bit about the future content. Uh, when you add guild versus guild, because you guys said that you will add more guild versus guild, I think guild versus guild needs more content. Right now, it's very like simple. There's nothing crazy about the guild. Maybe add some guild quests. Maybe add some guild events. But when you add guild versus guild, please make it so that when you do guild versus guild, let's say you challenge a guild uh, to, and you can get some cool rewards, make it so that, yes, there's a massive guild fight, five, uh, 50 v 50 or 100 v 100, whatever it is. You fight another the guild, but there should also be like, before you fight the other guild, make it so that you can also challenge the guild in like smaller PP modes. So make it like part, two parts. The first you challenge them in like 3v3, like a bunch of 3v3 games, and then you do a massive battlegrounds after. I think that'd be a cool thing. Uh, just a small thing to give you guys some tips on the first guild versus guild content. Uh, world PP would be great. Maybe add some kind of loss mechanic, uh, or maybe not. I don't know. World PP can be fun. Just make sure you do it right. Don't do factions. Nobody likes factions. Please don't add faction world PP. Add proper like world PP. You can go out and fight and do some PP and world PP. Great. But yeah, that is it for my changes. I would love to see after looking at this beta. Of course, there's a lot of content in the future that I would like to see added to the game. But this is like the small things from this beta. Very easy to reference to. So Take a look at this. I think it would be great changes to the game. Nothing I said in this, I think is bad or negative to your game or income. All of this is positive. Actually, I add more income to your game by adding like color skins, adding like uh, uh, different effects, getting more people to play the game for long because that's very important. You want people to play the game for a long period of time, right? If they can, without getting much reward. So these costumes and then farming mobs, all this stuff is just good stuff for the game. So hopefully, I'll take a look and people that if you're watching, make sure you guys link this video to the right people, all that stuff. I'll try to get it to them myself, but yeah. Uh, let me know in the comments below what do you guys think about my changes. Check out the video right here and I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.